Hello. I just wanted to uh, bring your attention to another victim of Lieutenant Scott Ireland. I'm not going to write an article about this victim because um, uh, he was victimized before Lieutenant Scott Ireland was promoted to lieutenant. This was when he was sergeant. When he was Sergeant Ireland, he was um, part of the Maine State Governor's uh, security detail. And um, at the time that he uh, victimized this particular person, he was um, in charge of the detail. He was the sergeant in charge of the detail. Um, so his name was Sergeant uh, Scott Ireland at the time. And uh, he was the um, on the security detail for um, Governor Paula Page. And uh, the name of this victim, um, I'm going to go ahead and withhold at his request, um, but he does not mind if you contact him through his uh, YouTube channel. It's uh, Postal Front. Um, this is the YouTube channel here, Postal Front. I'll show you a picture of it. So you can see uh, in uh, his email address or you can contact him um, through Postal Front. So, so we'll call him Mr. Front uh, for the purposes of this video. I do know his real name, but um, I'm going to go ahead and withhold it at his request. Um, so first I'm going to um, play you a video that he put together of, of um, the incident that um, Scott, where, where uh, Luke, uh, Sergeant Scott Ireland violated his rights. Uh, I'm going to play the entire video. It's an audio recording that this victim took during a phone conversation with Sergeant Ireland. And um, it starts out with Governor Paul LePage uh, basically saying that anybody can contact him that wants to talk to him about an issue that they have with the state of Maine. Um, uh, Mr. Front decided uh, after, well, number one, Mr. Front was a big supporter of the Governor LePage during his election. After he was elected, he decided to bring um, forward to Governor LePage some issues that he had with the uh, Department of Health and Human Services at the Maine State Police, specifically regarding how they um, deal with uh, children that are abused or um, neglected. And he wanted to bring some of his thoughts forward to Governor LePage. And so he called him to set up a meeting. Um, during Governor LePage's campaign, he said that anybody could call him, any citizen of Maine could call him and he'll talk to him. So uh, Mr. Front decided that um, that would be a good idea. So he uh, tried to make contact with the governor. and. Um, Every time he tried to make contact, the governor's staff would um, would delay it or put it down. So he had called a total of six times. So, um, so six times he had called asking for a meeting with the governor, and all six times he had been given some reason why it couldn't happen. And uh, this is a phone call where Sergeant Ireland is calling him back, and I'll just play it right now. It's first it's the governor um saying what he's saying and then it and then it goes right into the phone call have anyone and everyone from maine who wants to come can make an appointment to come in and visit Thank 
your verbal abuse or I'm trying to get a point across to you. And it's very clear that you did not get that point because after I talk to you, you call back. Well, wait a minute, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If I didn't swear at you or threaten you, how is that verbal abuse? Sir, so I'm not going to sit down and dissect how you were acting. Your, your behavior was not to the point where I'm going to continue having the conversation because you're sitting there not being cooperative at all. Telling me, why would I sit there and talk to you? You told me you don't understand English. So if you're going to sit there and play games, I'm not going to sit and play a game. Look, you know, look, I'm sorry. I, you, know, you know what? But I am not going to play your game. I am trying to do my job or get a point across to you. Okay, look, you, you can understand it. Well, you, know, you accuse me of calling every day. Listen, I've checked my logs. I think I may have spoken uh, to the governor's office uh, something in the neighborhood of four or five times since February. So, so that's a galaxy away from calling every day, which is what you said to me this morning, correct? I said you call most every day, is what I said. Okay, most every day. Do you, do you, do you think four or five times out of 120 is a whole lot less than most every day? Oh, I don't have to call a lot in front of me. The bottom line is, I'm just simply trying to get the point across that you are not to call back. So I, I'm, I'm not allowed to speak to anyone on the governor's staff? You are exactly right. Now you understand. Oh, okay. And, 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 and why is it I'm not allowed to even speak to anyone in, in my state government? The governor. Yeah, you can talk to people who say come in the form if you want, as long as it's not the governor's office. You help yourself to anybody else. Oh, oh okay. So, and, and... Talk to your local representative, if you'd like to. But you have lost your privilege to call this office. What people in the... You have lost your privilege to call this office. So, um... That's the uh, story of what happened. Uh, he was intimidated by Sergeant Scott Ireland to not call back the governor's office. He was told that he lost his privilege to call the governor's office. And later he received a uh, notice of harassment. And uh, if he called the governor's office, he would be charged with a criminal crime. Um, he would be charged with harassment. So, uh, so somebody who just wanted to talk to the governor about um, some issues at the Department of Health and Human Services uh, called a total of six times and um, Sergeant Scott Ireland at the time who was now promoted to Lieutenant Scott Ireland called him back and told him he could no longer call the governor's office. If that's not a clear violation of your rights, um, a violation of your um, you know, uh, ability to contact and uh, your local government, um, you know, a violation of your human rights, your civil rights, your constitutional rights. Um, it just seems to me like Scott Ireland thinks that he is judge, jury, and executioner. Um, the proper procedure for a case like that is to charge him with something. If he didn't commit a crime, leave him alone. It's so simple to leave people alone that don't commit a crime. Um, he could have just left him alone maybe called him and politely said, <clears throat> maybe you shouldn't call the governor anymore, um, or this isn't the right avenue to call the governor, or, or here's the right uh, way to set up an appointment with the governor, send a letter, do this, do that. But he didn't do any of that. He called him back and harassed him. And then after he finished that conversation, he put together a, a letter saying that uh, if he called back, he'd be charged with a crime. So this man, um, you may have opinions as to uh, um, whether he should have called six times, you know, whether it's even, uh, whether it even matters if you go see the governor or not. You may have opinions of whether he should or he shouldn't have done that, but the bottom line is we all can agree that Sergeant Ireland should not have called him back and told him he'd lost his privilege to talk to his representatives. That's a violation of um, a citizen accountable government but it's very consistent with um, the way Sergeant Ireland and now Lieutenant Ireland operates he doesn't like um, the Constitution very much he doesn't like your civil rights he doesn't care about your human human rights all he cares about is his ability to continue to be judge jury and executioner without a civic without being overseen by a citizen oversight committee um, Sergeant Ireland who is now promoted to Lieutenant Ireland needs to be fired immediately. This man is as corrupt as they come. And this is um, the fourth victim that I brought public. And uh, even though I haven't given the guy's name, 
you can make contact with him. You can ask him for his name yourself. Just go to his U YouTube channel. It's Postal Front. Um, and uh, uh, I'll give you the... Um, I'll give you the uh, spelling of it again. So it's Postal Front. That's his YouTube channel. It's uh, Parents of Stolen Offspring Liberation Front. He's a YouTube activist dealing with the uh, uh, Department of Health and Human Services. He has quite a story. I talked to him on the phone um, and he reached out to me after I posted my last video um, about the third victim. So this makes uh, four victims that are public and have accused Lieutenant Ireland of uh, violating their rights. Thanks for watching this and uh, please like and share and uh, leave a comment with your reaction. Thank you. Bye.